So we're coming to the last talk of the session. Okay, the last speaker of the session is Gang Lee. He's a postdoc here at NTU. Um, yeah, right, let's welcome him. Thank you. Uh, my talk today is uh, searching for weak single charge uh, scanner, as I see. This talk is uh, based on this paper uh, in collaboration with uh, Professor Ching Hong Cao, uh, Mr. Ke Fan Xie, and uh, Dr. Jue Zhang. I hope for. This paper is a photo with a microphone. It is Mr. Kapanshi. Uh, uh, he will graduate uh, next year. And we have uh, observed the uh, um, Higgs boson with mass uh, 125 GB, uh, which is uh, consistent with the uh, standard model prediction, which is uh, CP even. And besides this uh, uh, standard, this Higgs boson, there may be CP out of Higgs boson, and even CP violation in the neutral sector. And, uh, and also, there may be charge Higgs boson, uh, charge scanner, which can be singly, singly charged, doubly charged, or triply charged for simple uh, emulation. And uh, when consider the, the SU2 uh, quantum number, it may come from the electric symmetry breaking of uh, uh, SU2 singly, double, or triply. For the last two cases, the double and triply have been studied or not in the Duke study model and the George Mahatma model. While the simply the case, the singly, SU singly, uh, uh, charge Higgs boson, uh, charge Higgs scanner, had not been studied or not, and this, and uh, this is the main focus of my talk. First, I will show the uh, lab combined uh, search in charge Higgs boson in in this figure. It's apparent that the the charge Higgs boson below HGV has been excluded. However, such a such a search is based on the uh, model of a, a type two tubes model, which assumes that the sum uh, sum of the branching of charge Higgs boson into six bar and the tau equal uh, equal to one, and uh, this motivates that the charge the interaction of the charge Higgs boson with the fermion are proportional to mass. So. While this, while this um, constraint cannot be applied directly to the single case. Okay. Uh, here's the HGC direct search constraint. For HGC uh, direct search, uh, usually uh, uh, it, it is divided into two cases. For the, two, uh, for the first case, the, top, the single charge scanner is, uh, the charge, uh, charge Higgs boson is assumed to be uh, lighter than the top quark. So it is searched in the top quark decay in TT bar production channel. While for the uh, charge scanner, uh, charge case boson heavier than the top quark. It's produced in association with top, top quark. So, so for, the, for the first case, the result depends on the um, branch of the top decay to charge case boson times the branch of the charge case K. And uh, in the second case, the the result is in regards to uh, the cross section of charge case production times the branchiation. Uh, all this re uh, all this uh, search focus on the charge case boson heavier than HGV based on the uh, already search at the lab. While for the single uh, charge scanner case, uh, we should uh, uh, investigate the uh, experiment search carefully. First, we, we consider the uh, general single charge scanner, which is uh, SU3, SU2 single, while it can carry a U1 half charge. 
this uh, synergy chart scanner does exist in UV model. For example, it can be the right hand is left hand, or it, it can be the synergy chart scanner in the loop induced neutrino mass model. Called, uh, that is the Z model. In our case, we we studied, uh, uh, we assume that the synergy chart scanner is the only new degree of freedom. So the interaction um, of the standard model plus the uh, synergy chart scanner can be described by this dimension four Lagrangian. And this is uh, this term because it uh, arises from the chart of uh, synergy chart scanner. And uh, this is the master, and this dude is the scanner plan potential. And this term um, exists in the Z model. And the uh, alpha, beta are the family in index. Due to the Fermi Dirac in, in studies, the coefficient should be anti symmetry. So it can induce the charge flavor, charge lepton flavor violation. Um, consider the recent constraint, the, the combination of the coefficients are highly uh, constrained. Unless there is a hierarchy in the coefficient, all of these, coefficient, uh, all of these coefficients are, are semi constrained. So in our case, we do not consider this uh, interaction. And we go beyond the dimension four. Um, operators. Uh, we consider the uh, the dimension five operators. After some work, we find that there are, there are, there are only four non-redundant effective operators, which are independent. So the first uh, operator has, has nothing to do with the, the uh, uh, collider study in, in our case. So we only consider the last three, which can induce the decay of uh, of a single charge scanner into the lepton final state or part final state, and the production uh, and the production uh, and the single charge scanner should be um, produced in, in pair. So uh, since the the operator are independent, so the differentiation of a single charge scanner uh, decay are up are arbitrary. The, the single cross section is thus determined by the mass of the single charge scanner and the branchiation of its decay. So, so then we need to revisit the constraint of lab. First, we consider the single charge scanner search, and we find that the single charge scanner with the mass as low as 45 GV is still unknowable if the branchiation um, of the, uh, the compilation of branchiation in of uh, electron and muon is larger than 0.7. Since this uh, since this single charge scanner is just like the snapton in supersymmetry, so we should consider the snapton search in electron electron or muon muon. Um, China, and uh, this search can bound the branchiation of electron and mu independently. Um, since the cutting efficiency of electron mu are quite close at the uh, collider, so the mo most uh, conservative con constraint comes from the case where the, the branchiation are equal. So this red region shows the most conservative uh, constraint. After the compilation of the search of uh, charged Higgs boson and also the Slapman search, we find that the single charge scanner with mass smaller than 65 GV excluded, uh, which is in res respective of the branchiation of uh, um, electron ion. However, there is no HC uh, constraint. For the single char uh, char for the charge Higgs boson search, um, it focuses on the case where the uh, charge charge Higgs boson 
and heavier than HGV, and it may may even depend on the coupling of uh, top and top B and charge case boson if the if it is kinematically allowed. It. Well, the Snapdragon search um, also focus on the Snapdragon mass larger than HGV. There exist uh, there, there exist uh, the search in in Taihao, uh, China, but the constraint is still weak. Okay, so our work is is to to find the uh, to search for the single charge scanner at searching uh, TV. We studied in two uh, channels. The first channel is the dynamic channel, where the the uh, single charge scanner decay into electron or muon, and we following the charging of uh, pair search at the uh, searching TV. We impose impose the following task. First, we require exact two opposite sign uh, charge electron and no hard jet in the central re um, region, and uh, veto the uh, Z window region, uh, Z window, the Z mass window, and for the uh, single charge scanner heavier than HGV, we further impose the MG2 cup to surprise the W. The WW background. Um, here we show the here we show the result in terms of one hundred inverse fund bar. Um, in two cases, for the single charge scanner um, with the seventy uh, seventy GV or one hundred eight GV. And uh, for illustration, we assume that the orientation are equal. And we pick up the result with the best sensitivity. Then we studied the, uh, uh, the case in uh, Daito, China, where the single charge scanner decay in the tau, and the, the, the tau lepton is identified and, as a uh, tau jet. And following the style pair search at the searching TV, we impose the following card. First, we require exactly two tau jets and a low hard electron muon jet uh, in the central value, uh, central region, and we impose the further cards based on the kilometers, where we impose the the as uh, the uh, angle difference cards. Um, and also the MG2 card, BCD card, and uh, the scanner sum of MG card. And based on this card, we we divided the uh, the single region, uh, singular region into three cases, which are optimized for heavy scanner, light scanner. And then we show the result in terms of 100 GB for single charge scanner being uh, 70 GV or 108 GV. And we also pick up the result with the best sensitivity. Here we made an assumption that the single charge scanner decaying in quark fine state is zero. So we can study the discovery or exclusion ability of the dynamical chain in terms of operation into electron and muon. Uh, this is our result. First, we show the discovery ability, and uh, we find that the single charge scanner with mass below HGV can be discovered with only dielectric channel. And this can fill the blind spot in the lab search. With the compilation of dielectric channel and also the dipole channel, we find that the uh, scanner, single scanner with mass you know 140 GV can be discovered at the HC with uh, uh, 3,000 inverse fund part. If the single charge scanner is not discovered at the HC, then we can set the exclusion limit. And uh, 
the CT scanner with HDD can be excluded with only dilemma channel, and this can also fill the blind spot in the lab search. With the compilation of the dipole channel, we find that the single scanner with mass you know, 260 GV can be excluded with 3,000 investment bar. And this guy, while at the lab, the exclusion uh, ability is only 65 GV. <coughs> okay, let me summarize my talk. Uh, the existing lab and agency constraint do not exclude a single charge scanner as nine at uh, 65 GV. Assuming the single charge scanner to get on time into a lepton, we perform a class simulation of the uh, of scanner pair production in both the lepton and the dipole channel. Our study shows that with 6,000 inverse fund bar, it is very promising to discover the single charge scanner up to 160, uh, 40 GV. While the they can also exclude the single charge scanner below. 260 GV. Since the determ determination of the penetration into jets is hard at the AHC, but it is possible at the visual electron and muon collider, uh, it, 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 electron position collider, and this work will appear soon. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot for the talk. Are there any questions? I just wondering, uh, last uh, two sentences. So you could discover up to 240 GV, exclude the 260 GV, why they are different, uh, or what's the reason? Uh, the last, not, not the last, uh, yeah, not, uh, what, what, what's the relation of the two sentences? Right. So you can discover up to 140, but then you can exclude the uh, below 260, why is it uh, two different the number? The number of signals. Yes, this, this is uh, the number of signals. The profit is left. Yeah. I think it's 95% exclusion. Or yes, this is two, 2 sigma exclusion, and this is a 5 sigma discovery. Oh, okay, so not at the same conference level. Yes, yeah. <coughs> Just to confirm, so, so uh, lab uh, does not exclude the 65G uh, charge scale. Uh, lab. Uh, lab. Yeah, I mean, uh, this means, I mean, it, it doesn't. I mean, these can be directly produced at the lab. 65G charge scale can be produced at the lab. Uh, yeah, and this, this I mean, because the exclusion ability depends on the branchation. And this, you know, I show the... So I mean, uh, this is the 65 GV. So this, this is exclusion ability does not depend on the branchation. That's what I mean. It surely it should, it can be produced in lab in pair production, but uh, the exclusion ability depends on the branchation. After the compilation of uh, the slap room and the charge case research, we find that this uh, 65 GV does not depend on the branchation. Just uh, like the uh, just like the uh, charge case one search, the 80 GV does not depend on the branchation. Okay, um, I think this is a point to close the session. So first of all, I think we should all thank the speakers for the session, which hopefully convinced us that collaborative physics is still very interesting and things to explore. So thank you. Thank you.